Hello friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel, DS Tech Miller. Topic for today's video is how to use Microsoft Graph API in Power Automate. In this video, we will see how we can call Graph API in Power Automate. So, to call the Graph API in Power Automate, we will be using HTTP action. Inside the HTTP action, we have to do the authentication for this Graph API. For the authentication, we will be using app authentication. We will be registering an app and that app we will register inside Azure AD. So how we are going to do that? Let's jump directly in Power Automate. This is my Power Automate. Inside this, I will create a new flow. For demo purpose, I will be creating a instant cloud flow that is that will get triggered manually. I will name this flow as demo graph API and create. So now uh, this flow will get triggered manually. As a next step, I will be calling, as I told you, an HTTP action for the for calling the APIs. This is an HTTP action, HTTP premium. Now, inside this, you can see method. Method would be get. This is the, you know, under URI, I will be placing my REST API URL, headers, body, and under advanced option, you can see this authentication. So we have to first authenticate this power automate so that you know it can interact with the graph apis graph apis are azure ad protected so we have to authenticate them in this video we will see how we can do that first of all let's create a graph api which i will be using for this demo purpose for that what i will be doing i will be using this graph explorer i have explained about it in my last video where we saw how we can call graph api from inside sharepoint framework so Graph Explorer is the place provided by Microsoft from where you know I can in which I can test my Graph APIs and there are some sample APIs as well. So what I will be doing from here I will be picking one API under user section it is saying count the user in your tenant. So I will be using this API. This API will give me how many total number of users are present in my tenant. I will run this query and it is giving me result as 20. So I will be using this API. I will copy this API as it is from here and I will paste it over here. This is fine. Over here it is saying enter a valid URI. So this is a strange error. To fix that what we have to do, I, I, I will show you. So if I remove this dollar filter attribute, so this error got fixed. Now when I place this dollar filter attribute, even you know if I remove this condition, this API would be fine. As soon as I put this condition, it will start giving me an error. This is because of this user type. So what I will be doing, I will create one variable at an action. I will call initialize variable. This I will name it as user type. Type would be string and the value will be exactly same over here. I will paste it over here. Now here I will use this variable over here. So what I will do, I will remove this user type and I will over here you can see add dynamic content under variable I will place this and now this error got fixed. Cool. Moving further, inside header we have got this request header consistency level eventual. So let's copy this from here. So this graph explorer is really you know really powerful to start with the graph APIs. If you are beginner with the graph API. This will be really helpful to you over here you can test your api and then you know directly embedded in your code or power automate from where you are accessing them consistency level i will place over here and the value is eventual so this is also done next is the permission section so inside this permission section you know over here we cannot we have to grant them the permission while calling microsoft graph api from power automate we will be using application delegation so what we are going to do is in authentication i will be using over here you can see active directory auth so once i select it it is asking for the you know various uh, values authority tenant audience client id credential type and secret so now what i will be doing i will be generating the values for these fields and then we will uh, we will test this apis to do that what we have to do first of all we have to register an app the way we used to register an app in SharePoint inside paid app reg new dot aspx in the same way I am going to register an app this time inside Azure AD and that app will be having its own client ID, client secret, credential type 
10 elements and I am not going to place all these all those values over here. So let's start with that. This I am inside my tenant. From here, what I will do, I will go to the admin center. From the admin center, I will select all admin center. Sorry, Azure AD Active Directory is present over here. So I will select this Azure Active Directory admin center. So now this is my Azure Active Directory admin center. Over here, I have to register an app for the purpose of authentication for application delegation. So I will click on this Azure Active Directory on the left and then over here you can see this app registration. I will click on app registration. These are few apps which are already registered but I will I'm gonna register a new app, new registration. I will say demo or DS tech mirror demo hyphen demo hyphen graph API. So this is gonna be the name of my application. Next, it is asking for supported account types. Account in this organization directory only. I will, you know, single tenant. So I will choose this option. There are other options as well for multi tenant. Then any Azure AD directory, multi tenant, and personal Microsoft account. And personal Microsoft account. So I will select the first option that is my own tenant. After that, redirect URI. So redirect URI, what I will do for now, I will leave it as blank. Okay, I will uh, later on come over here and I will supply this value. So now what I will do, next option is redirect URI. This is optional. So for now we will leave it as blank. And over here it is also mentioned, we will return the authentication response to this URI after successfully authenticating the user. Providing this now is optional and it can be changed later. So for now I will leave it as blank and I will register this app. So this is how we register an app in Azure AD. Go to your Azure AD admin center, register an app and you can register it. Next is there are two things. First is the we have to generate this client credential that is uh, app secret and then we have to provide API permissions. These are the two things which we have to do. So first let's start with the permission. I will start with the API permission. So over here I have already given this permission. Okay let me go back Azure Active Directory app registration. This is my app, DS Tech Mirror Demo. Now, now I am able to register my app. Next is I will generate the client credential that is the secret. I will click on it, add a certificate, new client secret, description, DS Tech Mirror Demo. Next, I have to mention like after how long my app secret or client secret will expire. So I will say it will get expired in 24 months. So this client secret will be valid for two years that is 24 months. I will click on add. So uh, one important thing over here is once you are able to generate this client secret so copy it immediately and just save it because after you know few minutes this will go in non-readable format then you cannot you know again generate its value. It will be in a non-readable format and then you have to generate it again you cannot uh, generate uh, the same app certificate you cannot use it until unless you have copied it and kept it safe with you so for now i will keep it in my ppt only this is my client secret which i am going to use it and also remember one thing this is secret id this is secret value so you have to copy the value now we'll do one thing so once this is done now what we have to do is my graph api requires certain permissions what what is the permission it requires i can get it from the modify permission section modify permission tab i will expand this tab and i will see i have granted three permission directory dot user directory dot access as user dot all directory dot read all directory dot read write all so now i will grant my app the same permissions i will go back to my azure ad inside that i think this is my azure ad yes over here inside that over here you can see this api permission section i will click on it api permission and over here add a permission commonly used microsoft api i will select microsoft graph so there are two types of permission delegated permission your application need to access the api as the sign in user or your application runs as a background service or demand without a signed in user. So we are using application permission, application delegation. So I will select application permission. 
after that from here i have to select the permission i will select directory this is directory and i will select both this permission add permission so once this is done then grant admin consent to this permission you will see over here status got change so now i have grant the permission also to my app so this is done my app is now having directory read all directory dot read write all this permission it is having now what i will do i am going to go back to my flow so first thing it is asking me the credential type would be secret so i have to enter the value client secret so first let's enter this client secret this is my client secret client id for the client id what i will do i will go back to my app this is my app i will go to azure active directory app registration this is my app and from here i will get the client id okay from here i can copy client id then i have to enter the tenant this is my tenant id from here i am getting all the values i have entered the tenant id as well for the authority this is the default value we will leave it as it is and last is the audience so for the audience we will be entering https.graph.microsoft.com this is my audience so guys please and uh, let's you know have a look at this value again authentication we have select active directory or for that i have registered an app in my azure ad admin center from then i generated the client secret and i granted the permission so after doing these steps i got my tenant id from there audience will be graph.microsoft.com client id client like id of my app and the credential type would be secret and this is the client secret so this is done now i will save now i will add a new step just to see the response so over here i will add the response status score code 200 and over here i will get my response http body this is the response what this action will do it will you know receive the response from the http action so we will capture it over here status code i will remove this 200 so whatever will be the you know status code we will receive from http i can see it over here body same body from my http action and now i will save my flow so my flow is saved successfully now i will test it now to test the flow i will click on test manually test run flow it is saying your flow run successfully started i'll click on done okay over here i am getting an error dollar count is not currently supported so friends if you you know face this error while executing this demo so you can directly jump to the header section of the http action what you can do if you are facing this dollar count error so definitely uh, there could be some problem with your header either you have missed this header consistency level eventual or there could be some issue so to check this issue i will click this uh, header to the text mode and over here i can see this backslash n i will remove this backslash n and now i will save this flow and i will test it again and this time you can see my flow ran successfully i will expand the response action status i got from the http uh, action is the 200 body like 20 is the total number of users present in my tenant and my graph explorer is also giving me the same result let me expand my Uh, graph explorer response preview and over here you can see 20 is the total number of user present in my tenant so this is how friends you know we can execute microsoft graph api from inside power automate flow so this is very simple you have to use the http action the only difference is first of all you for the authentication purpose over here you will use let me click on edit just to explain you again for the authentication you will use active directory oauth and after that you have to register an app inside azure ed from uh, you will click on this azure active directory in the left you will find a section called app registration over here you will register an app after that once you register an app then you know create your client secret once you create the client secret uh, copy that client secret and then you know you can start you know adding the values you can start adding the values to the power automate in under authentication active directory auth client tenant id you will get from the from your uh, app which you have registered over here you can see directory is the tenant id 
tenant id audience will be gram.microsoft.com client id id of your app in this secret you will get once you register your app and then you have to click over here a client credential secret you have to generate a secret and you can decide the validity of your secret which could be two years some custom value six months like that so once you uh, complete all these actions test your graph api over here uh, give the same permission which you have you know which you have consented from the graph explorer give the same set of permission over here go back to your azure active directory go under app api permission over here go to app registration once you are you know okay uh, click on this your app and once you are inside your app ds tech mirror demo graph api click in this api permission and then you can you know give all these permit this uh, this app is having all these permissions directly read all directly dot read read write all so grant all the permissions which your microsoft graph api requires and once this is done your power automate should be able to execute the microsoft graph api so with this we reach to the end of this video thank you for watching this video if you like this video please like share and subscribe to the channel to get notification for our upcoming videos if you have any doubts related to this video or any of our earlier videos you can reach out to us through our official email id contact dstechmirror at gmail.com or you can reach out to us through youtube comments as well we have created a group over facebook called modern sharepoint you can find the link in the description box below you can join that group also you can follow me on twitter this is my twitter handle to get all the updates from the office 365 world much love keep learning thank you